Today we are in the Shawnee National Forest, at the Little Grand Canyon in Pomona, Illinois. It is beautiful and it is hot today. Got up to at least 95 degrees. I have plenty of water and there's bathrooms right there. Very, very convenient. Here's the trailhead. Trails hotline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleaner footwear. Gotcha. Let's do it. I'm gonna get to the overlook and I packed the drone with me this time. Actually, the first trip with the drone, in fact. My father got that for me for my birthday. Thank you, Joe, if you happen to be watching. Myself and the channel, thank you. So let's see, what was it, 0.8 to the main overlook? Uh, yeah, two miles for the other one. The three mile round trip. I came here from the Missouri side and that uh, took me down Illinois 3 south once I crossed into Chester and then I believe it was 157 for a little bit towards uh, out, sort of out towards Carbondale or Murfreesboro which are uh, fairly close and then it took me down several back roads. So far, I'm going to say it was worth the drive out here, though I think next time I am going to come early in the morning and spend a large part of the day out here and bring a friend. Uh, being my first trip out here, I went ahead and uh, since I was already in the area, I just figured why not just save myself uh, about an hour or so drive. In addition to the two and a half to three hours it would have already taken me from the house to get here. Still plenty of daylight left. Roughly 4.35 o'clock now. It'll start getting dark. Oh, around 8.30. I'm not exactly a slow poke, so I should have this trail done long before then. 
even if I do go ahead and do the three miles. Only thing that might hang us up is drone footage and maybe a little bit of 360, I don't know. But uh, we'll make that decision when we get there. Until then, we will just enjoy each other's company. Got us a large ass tree here on the right. Glad I wasn't around when that thing fell over. Shall we go left? Shall we go right? Let's go right. Right. I wonder if some of this is from the recent storms we've had. If not, I'm going to have to uh, take some points off for this trail not being very well kept. Though, I will say I've seen worse. Also seen better.
maybe on the way back. Blaze. Follow the arrow. You know, I'm almost embarrassed to say this, but this is the first trail I've done since I've been back on vac from vacation. Uh, some of you may not know, but I actually wrecked my car the morning I went to uh, leave for Atlanta back on June 9th. Uh, I had to hurry and get a rental car, just get to the airport, and then that rental car is out there for over a week. <laughs> but I finally got a car of um, well, last Saturday, I think it was. Yeah, it was Saturday. Pulled the trigger on a Kia, my very first Kia. So far, I'm liking it. And, uh, well, this is the first time I can really get away. Maybe that's just an excuse. Blood Mountain was great though. My second trip to the top in, uh, well, two years time. First time was in 2021, second time, well, June, uh, June of 2023. And this, Pomona, Illinois, Little Grand Canyon, my first trip. Uh, July 14th, 2023. Hmm. Sun is still very high in the sky. Still very warm, humid. But you know what? This is a great view. This is, I mean, this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I am pleased. So a uh, quick shout out to my friend Kate who recommended this little spot in Illinois. She is also a traveler. As far as I know she doesn't have a YouTube channel. But she uh, highly recommended this. Hey there squirrel. So if anybody out there is watching and would like to recommend a trail near them or just one they've been to, please go ahead and slap that down into the comments below. It's also, uh, I've been thinking about setting up a phone number people could call in, make suggestions too, leave comments. What does this say, real quick? With the sun comes life. Yep. And squirrels. Alright, let's keep moving. You guys can pause and read that. I'll go back and I'll read it later. Read it a little more in depth. I want to get up to where I can get a good view. I've seen some of the photos that Kate sent me, and some I found on the uh, the website, the Illinois State Parks website. 
I just want to see it for myself. Over here on my left, there's quite a bit of a clearing. Looks like a body of water. I wonder if that's part of the Mississippi. I'll have to look it up. Mississippi is fairly close. It's maybe 15, 20 miles that I'm aware of. I had to cross it just to get into Illinois. A steep one, would you look at that? Oh, you look at that. There you go.
Well, there appears to be a large opening on the other side of those trees. But too much greenery for me able to make anything out. Coming up on something. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Do I see sandstone? Holy shnikes. Like, I actually have been to the Grand Canyon before. August of last year. Maybe it was September. It was during that vacation to Sedona. And, uh, yeah. Looks very, very similar. I like, I like. Okay. This is the first stop. A canyon carved by water. Okay, this is where we started. Parking lot. This is we are where we are now. That's uh I guess we're probably about a mile or so deep. Sounds like it would be farther. So, here you go. I like. I like it a lot. With a thunderstorm rolling in, this was as far as I could go. The end of the overlook. I'm going to take a nice quick view over the edge here. If you look down here at the bottom, you can see a, a house or some type of structure. You can also see the uh, sandstone wall here on the left. Nice look at the trees and surrounding area. And then I thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.